Hey everyone, today we're going to make something really fun in After Effects. Shapes that automatically scale depending on how close another object gets to them. It's a great little trick that feels almost interactive, like your shapes are alive and responding to a target. Let's start a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels. Let's create a shape layer, a rounded rectangle. Hold shift so it's a square, turn off the stroke, keep just a fill. Increase roundness to about 10. There we go. Now I'll duplicate it a few times, let's make six squares total, and line them up across the center of the screen. Quick tip! If you want them perfectly spaced, just turn on the grid or use the Align panel. Next, we need two null objects. One will be our object, basically the cursor that moves around. The second will be our controller. This one is like the brain that holds our sliders. On the controller, I'll add two slider controls and rename them. One for scale. This is the maximum size the squares can reach. One for range. That's the distance in pixels where they react. Now the fun part. Select all the squares, press S for scale, and Alt option, click the stopwatch to open expressions. Here's the code. You'll also find it in the pinned comment under this video. This expression measures the distance between each shape and the target null. Depending on your settings, shapes can either grow as the target gets closer or shrink if you set the scale slider below 100. Everything happens automatically without extra keyframes. Make sure the names of your layers really match what's written in the code. Object and controller. And also check that your sliders are named exactly scale and range, otherwise the expression won't work. Don't forget, you'll need to paste this expression into all of your shape layers, not just one. Now let's go to the controller layer and play with the sliders. The scale slider sets the maximum size the shapes will reach when the target is right on top of them. The range slider sets the distance in pixels over which the effect happens. Let's try moving the object null closer to our row of shapes. See how they grow automatically? If the outer shapes get too big and spill outside the comp, just bring down the scale slider a little until it feels balanced. Perfect. Now everything looks great. To make this feel like a hover effect, Let's attach a little cursor PNG on top of the object null. Adjust its size. Align it with the object null and parent it to the null. Let's test it. I'll grab the object null and move it near the squares. See that? Now when I animate the null's position, it looks like the cursor is hovering across the row of squares and triggering the animation. I'll keyframe position.
easy ease the keys, and adjust the speed curve in the graph editor for a nice snappy motion. Much better than a flat move. You can flip the behavior easily. To make shapes shrink as the target approaches, set the scale slider below 100. To limit the reaction to just the nearest shape, decrease range. To make several neighboring shapes react together, increase range, for example, to 700, and you'll get a nice ripple of dynamic scaling across the row. That's it! We've built a simple, reusable proximity-based scaling system, great for menus, galleries, dashboards, or playful UI elements. The expression is in the pinned comment. If you'd like to follow along exactly, the project file and PNG assets are on my Patreon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more quick After Effects tips and tricks.